global war. It wasn't just something that America did. It's not just a love of your country, it's standing up for what you believe your country stands for. Those guys put their lives on the line every single day. TCM presents Never Surrender, World War II in the movies. I'm no braver than the next guy. They're no more patriotic. But I do know what's right. 16 million American men and women donned the uniform in World War II, which is colossal. The country only had 135 million people at the time. It's one out of every eight. But of course, that means roughly 120 million Americans did not don the uniform. They were on the home front. And their story deserves to be told with as much material and as much energy and as much compelling nature as any part of World War II. And we do that here at the museum. With the United States gearing up its arsenal of democracy, its factories and manufacture of planes and tanks and clothing and weapons and foodstuffs, there was a tremendous demand for people in the workforce of all uh, kinds, women, uh, African Americans, minorities, handicapped. And uh, it was a very powerful and motivating and uh, liberating exercise to feel part of that great national effort where everybody felt like they were in the war effort. One of the main lessons I've gotten from World War II, the power and importance of ordinary people who stand up for what they believe, fight for what they believe, and the incredible impact that has. I think it was really important uh, for women to have gotten that opportunity to go and work in factories and, and contribute to the war effort. I think it provided a sense of empowerment, a sense that maybe they could do something else besides being a housewife and a mother. It just shows what you can do when the stakes are high and it's important that you, that you do it. Keep in mind that prior to the war, more than 80% of all black women worked as domestics or sharecroppers. Black women were instrumental in many aspects of the war, not only as Rosies, but they conducted bond drives, blood drives. They did all the things that Americans did during World War II. World War II touches almost everything that you do every day. I had family members and friends who served in the military, and, and for them to have experienced that, and to have gone through all of that, that's something that we should never forget. Never Surrender, World War II in the movies. 75 films honoring the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Thursdays in May and June at 8 p.m. Eastern with special introductions from the National World War II Museum in New Orleans.